Is XRP about to become the new world currency? In this video, we are going to delve into what is going on with XRP, why we've seen such crazy pumps recently, and the pumps haven't even got us all the way back up to the all-time high on this coin. What is about to happen with XRP? What is XRP? And what are you missing out on right now? Welcome back to the Crypto Blish channel today. Thank you for being here with me today on the Crypto Bliss channel. As you can see, I've been back in action. I've been hitting videos up for you guys. Make sure to go and check those videos out. You do not want to miss them. They are phenomenal. Just like this one is going to be absolute killer alpha. Thank you for being here with me today. With Bitcoin pumping nicely yesterday, and the dollar falling, well, here's the dot, and the dollar falling yesterday below a key area. Who knows what could be happening? But with the MACD, the RSI kind of resetting, I would not expect after some pull down here that we would not see the dollar come back up a little, which means that we could see Bitcoin, etc., kind of topple over once again possibly pull us back down to this area keep us ranging here for now is that what's going to happen i don't know you tell me down below but what is xrp well firstly it's ranked number seven from coin gecko which is pretty high that means it's in the top 10 of all cryptocurrencies and it's gained 1.6 percent against the dollar that's its logo beautiful uh, name and 60 cents is its current price it's got about 700,000 people that have added it to their portfolios just on CoinGecko, let alone any of the other platforms, let alone how many people actually use this coin. With a market cap of $34 billion, $34.2 billion at the moment, its fully diluted valuation is about $61 billion at this point, with a trading volume of about $1.2 billion. Circulate or well, maximum supply of this coin is 100 billion coins with a total supply of about 99.9 billion and circulating is about 56 billion, which means that there's still some more coins in the market to potentially come. If you want to go check out the website, go check it out. I'm not going to show you that today. Here's their social media pages. Here is the wallet, the ledger wallet, and we'll talk about that in a short little moment. But one XRP is worth 60 cents. So if you were to spend $10 today, you would get 16, 16.4 XRP. $100, we get you 164 XRP. $1,000, we get you about 1,640 XRP. $10,000 will get you about 16,400 XRP. And $100,000 will get you about 164,000 um, XRP. So, with its all-time high at about $3.40, which we're down 82% from, it's been around for more than 10 years. This was launched pretty pretty early, about just before this. But 2014 to today, we're up 22,500%. Means that XRP has done just to the current level 22,500%. Let alone we're still 82% down from an all-time high very interesting scenario right so what has happened to xrp recently first of all xrp surged 19 percent after the federal judge ordered ripple labs to pay a 125 million dollar civil penalty moving the sec lawsuit closer to resolution and resolution with xrp is expected to unfold by around september october which, might I state, is just a couple of weeks away. All right, if that happens and we pumped 19% on the basis of that, imagine what's going to happen if we consider that this is actually a downsloping resistance line from the top to there. And once it breaks through that level, yes, it's going to stop here at this level on the way up at a dollar, two dollars more or less. But it will be on its way to about three dollars forty. Do you believe that XRP? Do you believe that XRP could hit a very much that all-time high? Let me know down below. 
XRP surged 8%, possibly due to Ripple community members speculating that the SEC closed Door Sunshine Act meeting on August 1 might address the settlement of the Ripple lawsuit. It's all unfolding. What is Ripple? First, Ripple is pri a privately held fintech company and hence why people like DaVinci don't actually like it. Now, I own quite a chunk of XRP. I own more than 2,000 2, odd, like 2,500 odd coins. So I own about a five, $1,500 worth of XRP. Now, uh, what can I say? It's not the most beautiful token in the space, okay, from my personal perspective. But as an XRP Army fan, as an XRP Army fan, all I can say to my fellow soldiers, okay, first of all, it's a privately held fintech company that provides global payment solutions via its patented payment network called the Ripple Network, also known as RippleNet. RippleNet is a payment network that is built on top of Ripple's consensus ledger called XRP Ledger or XRPL. Ripple funded the development of open source XRP Ledger. Unlike most cryptocurrencies out there that cater to peer-to-peer -peer needs, Ripple was made to connect banks, payment providers, and digital asset exchanges, enabling real-time settlement, expeditions, and lower transaction fees. Now, I have to agree that this is a very, very powerful solution because whenever I purchase currency from my South African rand and I convert it on these exchanges, and I so I buy, I buy uh, in South Africa, I convert straight into my Vala, into my rands, into XRP, and then I transfer XRP over to my Bybit account, over to my Bitf my Bitflex accounts, any of my accounts, I'll use either XRP or BNB, but mostly XRP because XRP fees are ridiculously cheap and the transaction happens within three to five minutes. Okay, so it's pretty fast. Instantaneous settlement. So what is the XRPL ledger? It's an open source distributed ledger that is created by Ripple, the native cryptocurrency of the XRP ledger is XRP. Compared to BTC, which uses distributed blockchain whose transactions are processed and secured by proof of work of mining, XRP transactions are processed by a network of trusted validators on the XRP ledger. Ripple transactions are publi publicly recorded on its open source distributed consensus ledger, which has a similar data structure to blockchain, where the successive data block includes the hash of the previous block, However, its consensus mechanism is different from Bitcoin or Ethereum. It does not rely on proof of work. And therefore, there is no mining involved with XRP. So in other words, there's only 100 billion of these coins. There's only ever going to be 100 billion. So if you lose your keys for XRP, that diminishes the circulating supply in XRP token. And therefore, XRP token over time will also start to increase drastically in its price now i just want to go and share with you how does it how does it reach consensus if there's no mining it uses a different set of rules called the ripple consensus protocol algorithm the rcpa defines how x uh, xrpl is managed by a network of independent validate to nodes. so in other words they are nodes they're computer systems that are running as validators rather than miners. Any Ripple transactions needed to be verified by at least 80% of the nodes on the network. Anyone can become a validator. So in other words, this is great for banks, but that doesn't stop people like yourself and myself actually being an intermediary and using XRP as that intermediary transaction uh, currency, converting it from Ripple back into dollars and other cryptocurrencies that I'm about to show you because we have some of the most insane Ripple news that is unfolding at the moment. So if Alice wants to send a thousand Japanese yen to her cousin Bob in India, Alice would send the participating financial system. The, the yen will be converted into XRP and will be validated by servers in the network. Bob could withdraw the money in Indian rupee once validated and the remittance can be done within seconds. Boom, exactly. So, because you can convert your Ripple 
to your Indian rupee or in my instance, South African Rand. Dollars, whatever it is you want, euros, whatever. So you can see here, validator nodes. If a server got the wrong hash, it must recalculate or download the correct ledger. So there are there is infrastructure in here <clears throat> that 80% of the of the 80% of the nodes need to actually have validated the token. So what is the difference between XRP, XRP Ledger, Ripple, and Ripple Network? XRP is the native token and the ticker symbol for XRP. So it's the token that I'm referring to now in this video. XRP Ledger is the distributed consensus ledger. So if you use XRP as a tool to help your business or your life, you're transferring money, etc., that is the back-end process. And Ripple is formerly known as Ripple Labs, is the company behind Ripple Network. And Ripple Network is a global network payment system that is built on top of XRP Ledger. So, boom. Okay. Who created Ripple? It was first started in 2004 by Ryan Fugger, who was the first Ripple called Ripple Pay. In 2012, Fugger handed it to Jed McCallum and Chris Larson, uh, where they co-founded OpenCoin. In 2013, OpenCoin rebranded to Ripple Labs Incorporated. In 2016, Ripple Labs rebranded to Ripple. Chris is currently the executive chairman of Ripple. Now, uh, Jed Caleb was previously the founder of Mt. Gox, just by the way, and we know that Mt. Gox is releasing his stuff. Uh, it's Bitcoin at the moment. The first Bitcoin exchange, he had falling out with the Ripple team and forked the Ripple code base to start Stellar. So Stellar is very similar to Ripple and he is currently the CTO of Stellar. Brad Garlinghouse is currently the CEO of Ripple. What is the repurpose? Uh, what is the purpose of Ripple? So you've got USDT, Euro, Yen, Rand, Czar, whatever your currency is, the originator, the digital asset exchange, Bybit, use my link down below so that you can come and trade this coin with me. I actually am in a Ripple long position and I'll show you that in a short moment. But then it's you purchasing the Ripple token on the digital exchange, which you can then convert back at your own bank, your own local bank into your own currency or on your exchange, transferring it back into your bank account from the exchange. Very, very simple. Can Ripple create more XRP? No, it has been pre-mined with a supply cap of 100 billion tokens. Is Ripple different from Bitcoin? Yes, and I'll tell you why. The total supply of XRP is capped at 100 billion, while the total supply of Bitcoin is capped at 21 million. XRP's average transaction speed is 4 seconds, while Bitcoin's is about 10 minutes. XRP Ledger could handle 1,500 transactions per second, which is 600 times faster than Bitcoin. Bitcoin can only handle an average of around 2.5 transactions per second. While XRP outperforms Bitcoin in terms of transaction speed, it has different underlying consensus mechanism, trusted validators on XRP Ledger versus distributed miners on Bitcoin, and therefore does not offer the same security that Bitcoin offers. XRP's transaction fee is Four zeros one XRP, roughly five zeros one US dollar. While Bitcoin transaction fee is about fifty cents to a dollar per transaction. That's regardless of the amount of money. I believe that there was a transaction of Bitcoin that was done for something like something ridiculous, like eighty billion, and the transaction fee was just a, was like a simple sixteen dollars or something like that. Very very ridiculous. So why does all of this now matter? Well, first of all, I'd like to differentiate. And even though Bitcoin might be used at, at some point in the future as a potential currency, Bitcoin is actually a saving. It is a hedge against investment. It is digital gold and it is much better than gold from a, uh, Kiyosaki says it quite nice. It's people's money, whereas gold is, is God's money. And, and, at the end of the day, Ripple is going to potentially be used as something that could exchange in the Ripple as, as a currency and interchanging. It's used as an intermediary to change from our digital rand, dollar, euro, whatever, to XRP to another country's digital rupee, peso, dollar, whatever it ends up being. And why is this all so significant? 
make sure you are subscribed to my channel before I continue with the video because what it is that I'm about to unleash for you is going to be absolutely ballistic and you are going to want to know stay now stay right tuned to the very end of the video because if I go and look at XRP let's go and find my XRP trade all right XRP is up one percent for the day so we'll have a little bit of a look but my XRP trade is currently up 28 percent at the moment I knew it was going to look for a potential breakout out of this area here which it is currently busy working on we are so close and isn't it interesting that the horizontal resistance level on xrp really is this very intense downslope here which isn't the larger downslope okay it really is just this pattern here boom 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 there it's very 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 tight range right now getting ready to break up the next target for xrp and you can see i've got my take profit right here at 84 cents that is my take profit because that's where i believe so you can still use my buybit link below get into this trade it isn't a, too late once we break through this box because right now essentially yes down here would have been a better buy but right now if we put your stop loss underneath here so if we're looking at a potential trade from where we currently are we take our risk and we place our risk right underneath the bar here giving us a potential now of a trade over the next couple of weeks of a 10 to 1 which is a good trade so in saying that right now we're gonna we're literally like three days away four days away from a breakout on xrp and guys uh personally just uh, i don't believe that xrp is gonna break down I believe that XRP is going to break up. XRP has been waiting to break up and it is currently on the most beast up trend, ready to break out of this. So the area that I was just showing you on the chart was there, this little area, let alone this entire area, which is now the weekly coverage on the chart. And this isn't even all of it really. So at the end of the day, right now you can see we're getting ready to break up. We're probably going to break up to this resistance level, 72 cents. But 84 cents is my target. Why is that? Because look at this very, very beautiful and powerful trend line that we are experiencing right at that level. That's 86 cents. So I'll put mine at 84 cents, right? I think we're going to hit resistance there. We're going to have to back test, probably back down to 60 cents and then break our way up to the $2 level here, $1.50 to $2 level first, probably this level here, $1.50, and then break our way back up to the $3. So yes, this here is like is is the larger version of this little area here because there is a much higher high here that as we know is up to three dollars forty level which is probably somewhere around this area here so you can see that down sloping trend line really is looking very very juicy and delicious for ripple now if 159 countries are set to adopt the BRICS new payment system and everything that I've just explained and expressed to you is coming down to something <clears throat> that is requiring a swift alternative. Well, I wonder what that could be. That's probably XRPL, wouldn't you say so? Let me know what your thoughts are down below. With that being said, you can see here that BRICS intends to release its new payment system to, and this is including 159 countries, of which I might just say to you that there are only 195 estimated countries in this world, plus a little bit more that aren't included on the list, which are another further 38 countries on over and above that. But these countries are dependencies or other territories, meaning they more sovereign territories. So with 159 countries across the world, really, and if we're looking at India being the number one population in terms of its size in the world, well, we have China, United States, we have India is the biggest, China is the next, United States is the next largest population in the world. Those three are the powerhouses of this world right now. And two of those happens to be in BRICS, in the BRICS countries. Okay, so you can only imagine that that is already three billion of the eight billion population in the world right so 
With that being said, the if there is an alternative system that is going to be used in Swift. I wonder what that could be. Well, let's go and have a look here. Because Bricks, now this was from yesterday, to launch crypto exchange and you one pegged stablecoin. Very, very simple. So Russia to launch stake back crypto. And this is from Bricks News itself. Uh, back crypto exchanges with Chinese Yuan and BRICS peg stable coins to bypass the US sanctions. And the US sanctions are actually ridiculous because the US sanctions have nothing to do with Russia or China or the banning of trade or whatever it is that the America tried to do. But rather, it is a game of chess that is currently being played with the US government and amongst all of these top uh, countries. Now remember that they are still just the little fiddlers they are the puppets they're not the puppeteers the puppeteers truly are the world the the, the world's families okay and I, i'm not going to go into that on this video but really the bold plan is to peg the chinese yuan with the new BRICS crypto based stable coin at a one-to-one -one ratio this makes its price remain stable with no volatility like stable coins but yes stable coins also fluctuate a little bit as well and on heavy news, sometimes they can dip below and punch back up. So no, they're also not stable, really, because all currencies fluctuate, even the currencies, the digital currencies right now. But this is the first step is to de-dollarize. And second is the new Chinese Yuan linked BRIC stablecoin, which is going to unfold potentially by the end of this year possibly in october well with that being said and i'm going to follow bricks i don't really want to but i'm going to follow bricks because of the simple the simple behind it russian president putin says that the source of palestinian problem is america america is a source to many problems so finally says nato is profiteering from ukraine's war with russia of course it is okay let's not get into much of that FUD right now because boom <coughs> Swiss gold Swiss gold accepts XRP as a payment method buy to buy gold with Ripple SwissGold.com is now accepting payment for gold and silver purchases in the cryptocurrency XRP clients may purchase any gold silver platinum palladium or rhodium bars or coins using cryptocurrencies, including those traded with Ripple. Furthermore, all product pricing in Swiss Gold is available in XRP live at any time. 159 countries are set to adopt BRICS new payment systems. The BRICS nations have already successfully tested XRP. This is the SWIFT system that I was referring to right here in the alternative. If you are not watching this video and gluing your eyeballs to what it is that I'm saying, you have no idea how fundamentally incredibly powerful this is for the rest of the world. And I have to say to you, it's dangerous in one way. It's a bold move, but with the backing of 159 countries, excluding all of these 38 sovereign states or nations across the world these countries are literally about to say fuck you to the dollar and accept this new transition of a chinese yuan backed stable coin which the underlying blockchain component of this is the xrp ledger all right, what, what? Which means that they're going to use XRP token as the intermediary token between each country and very likely that in my instance, the South African Rand, whatever, 10 Rand will buy me two tokens, okay? As the example, it'll be backed against that token <coughs> in a digital format just as it currently is right now anyway. Sorry guys, still got a little bit of chesty, my throat's still tight a bit, but India and, <coughs> India and the UAE are no longer using US dollars to pay for oil. 
they used XRP instead. What on earth is going on? This is a massive, massive step. I cannot tell you because now they're no longer using dollars or their own native currencies to pay for oil, but instead they're using XRP. With the discovery that the parties produced over 1,700 contracts, XRP's distribution, just by the way, which are specific agreements by which Ripple transferred XRP to contractual counterparties in a variety of commercial transactions. In its expert, Schwartz organizes that 1,000 XRP, 700 XRP contracts into four primary categories. These are the categories down here, but boom. 1,700 non-disclosure agreements between Ripple and major banks, financial institutions, and companies. XRP is going to be the most valuable asset in the world because it will bridge value globally. Let me know what your thoughts are about that. I'd love to know. I personally do not think that Ripple will be more valuable than Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the store of value. And if gold is currently the store of value with the $16 trillion market cap, then Bitcoin is the digital version of gold in the cryptocurrency and the blockchain realm. Meaning that XRP will very likely become the dollar of the cryptocurrency realm instead of even the stable coins. The stable coins will just be there to basically peg a base of a one-to-one -one ratio so that there's less volatility in each of the stable coins. Now we know that the Simpsons have previously spoken about a $575 Bitcoin. What do you believe that Bitcoin could hit? Because 49 days until XRP and Ripple has full legal clarity in the United States, once the SEC appeal options ends, institutional capital will flood into XRP. Credible journalists have confirmed. So legally no nation state no bank no institution can actually invest into something that is going through a legal concern hence why xrp's price has been absolutely and utterly obliterated over here was a just a moment of like a win against the sec but you can see that we have literally been just chilling right down at the bottom this is insane because Gary Gensler has become a political liability and he is on his way out, undoubtedly so. Not only that, but Visa and Ripple have now merged to give you a Ripple card to start using Ripple as the new payment currency of the world. I don't know, this isn't set in stone, but obviously these as Steve Jobs says, looking back, you can connect the dots. And with all this news coming out for Ripple, why would we not see more than that? So the top DeFi token on XRP is token CTF. Could be sitting on a market cap of 20 billion, which could pump the price from 60 cents to $748 per CFT token. With a supply of 120 million tokens, the CFT would e CTF would easily be put into supply shock, squeezing the price higher um into 300 dollars with a market cap of under 10 billion solana in the last bull cycle pushed into 300 dollars even though the supply for solana is over 500 million what could we see for ctf token <laughs> holy shit you see what i mean not only that but this is from crypto barbie amelia jp morgan chase to accept xrp for credit card and mortgage payments the very man that hates Bitcoin. Well, I wonder why he hates Bitcoin because he wants people to use XRP because the fees and the money and the transition that they're going to be making is going to be insane. But let's go listen to CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, says that some of the creators of the XRP ledger have actually been early engineers that worked on Bitcoin. Let's go and hear what he had to say here with joe uh i will correct one thing right out of the gates uh ripple did not actually actually issue xrp uh the, the xrp ledger is an open source decentralized technology 
not dissimilar than Bitcoin. And some of the creators of the XRP ledger actually had been early engineers that worked on Bitcoin. And they saw some of the scalability problems that Bitcoin was likely to have, the speed both from a energy consumption, cost, some of the other problems. And they, they wanted to build a better digital asset to solve some of these problems. Be with Joe. Okay, well, if that doesn't convince you enough, make sure to stay tuned. I've got a few more minutes with you. Right here, this gentleman, Mr. Brandon Bates, the man who predicted a major event now claims XRP is set for an overnight surge. He's not advising to invest, but he feels strong vibe about it. Are you watching XRP? Let's listen to what he has to say. But I'm telling you, I keep seeing um, XRP, and I'm and I, like I said, I'm not telling you to invest in it. That's on you. Do not say, hey, you told me to invest in it. No, I'm telling you, there's going to be something in my spirit, what I, in my opinion, with XRP in the near future. And um, I keep seeing it go overnight. It's it, it, like right now, I think it was like 47 cents uh, per uh, XRP. And all of a sudden, I am hearing in my spirit, there's going to be a, there's going to be an acceleration of things. The time with dominance falling back, dollar falling down, Bitcoin pumping to the moon and beyond getting ready. And I just want to show you because Bitcoin closed a very, very healthy candle yesterday in the green, right back up above all of our moving averages. And that is a very, very bullish sign with the MACD starting to break through, getting some good volume in there. Even though the stochastic RSI is a little bit overheated, generally we can float along this area for some time. I think we could come up to here, the 68 to 69, possibly reject, retest, create a higher low, and then start to make our way up, possibly around our uh, very most important date over here, which is in alignment with the 4th of November. So. I'm not sure when the U.S. elections are. Let's go and see U.S. election 2024. I think it's it's in November, of course. But what date? Because uh, 2024. When is that date? Boom. Dates. Let's see here. Dates. Overview. Dates. Saturday, August 24th. No, important election dates. Yeah, so we're expecting this to probably take place Yeah, we're expecting last day of early voting by personal appearance. Last day to receive ballot by mail is Tuesday, the 5th of November. How fucking insane is that? And I didn't even know, I didn't even check. And that's how insane this is. So if you are really not in tune with what it is that I keep telling you on these videos in my channel, that date is the 4th of November that we're expecting this to start a rally, the next phase of the bull cycle. Right now, we're getting back up above our, our 200, that is very bullish. Once we're back up above the 200, just like this, we retest it, probably going to retest it and start to climb once again. Thank you for being here with me today. I truly hope you appreciate the video, the content. Of course, you can see my trades, XRP up 31%. Pepe is now 200%. Guys, all of these have take profit. So they might be extreme. Okay, but I have take profit levels and I'm waiting for those take profit levels to hit. Let your let your, your trades take that profit. But Bitcoin at 5.97%, uh, Dogecoin at 123%. And guys, look, that Dogecoin trade is 53 cents for flipping Pete's sake. So if you had $100, you'd be doing some crazy stuff out there right now. So at the end of it all, you can see here that in, my, my engine is 153%, my ether is 103%, rune 146%, my sand is 82%, and my Solana is 180%. So come trade with me, make some money with me. Taking small profits and good two to three X returns on your money 
is very powerful. And collectively, you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars over the year, uh, over each year. And over two to three years, you can build up millions of dollars in your trading assets and your portfolios. Now, I will leave these videos up in, com in the cards above for you. You need to go and watch those. AVAX is just as powerful as XRP. You want to go and check that. And why is the dollar collapsing? You want to know that because this is the time to be investing. Without this video being financial advice, I love you. Appreciate you.